Hi guys, so I'm Alyssa and I'm the owner of Fabulous Boutique and today I'm going to be telling you guys everything that a small business owner needs. I'm just going to go over the basics and it does not matter what type of business you have. Obviously, as you know, I have my own self-defense business, but if you have a lash, jewelry, lip gloss, doesn't matter what type of business, you're going to need this stuff. So first, I'm going to start off with packaging. Let me just go grab it. So here you can see I have all these different types. I have poly mailers with no padding. Big poly mailer with padding, little one with padding, like a medium one with padding. I have all these different kinds because it depends on what the customer orders. Like if they order just like a little a little knife, it can go in here. But if they order some keychains, it has to go in here and so on and so forth. So I usually get most of my stuff. So these three, the small, big, and the poly mailer, I get them from youpackandship.com. They have everything you could think of. They have big poly mailers, they have smaller poly mailers, they have boxes, they have um, poly mailers with bubbles, they have little ones. These are just the designs I preferred. I wish that they had butterflies in these, but they don't. They have like a million different designs. I just like these the most, but you could try to find one that matches your business. Um, but, as you can see, this one is not from you pack and ship. This one is from Amazon. You can get the same things off Amazon. It's just that I find that you pack and ship is cheaper. Uh, let me find out the price right now. Give me one second. So I'm just going to give you an example. Let's say, so this is a 6 by 9 inch poly mailer with bubbles. I get a thousand of these for $146. That sounds like a lot of money. But if you were to go on Amazon, it's like for 20 to 25, it's like almost $15. So if you do the math, it does add up and this is cheaper. But it's really up to you. Some people value packaging and they want it to look so pretty and exquisite. So I would say go to Amazon. If not, go to your package ship. It's just your choice. Those are just two options that I use. The other types of packaging that I use is USPS packaging. Why do I use these? Because they are free. Like when I say free, it's zero dollars to ship to you. It costs zero dollars, zero dollars everything. So the only way that you can use these, so let's take this box for example, is if, let me cover up everything. The only way you can use these is if it's priority mail, okay? I know it's gonna be backwards on the screen, but you see the P. As long as it's priority mail with USPS, you can use this. Same for the mailer, it has to be priority if it's not you can't use it but it's not the prettiest in the world like obviously as you can see i love butterflies i love pink this isn't cute or pink but it's free it'll save you lots of money all you have to do is pay for the actual shipping label and that's it so the next thing that every business owner needs is a scale why would you need a scale because when you're shipping out orders in order to get the price of the shipping label and how much it'll cost, you need to know how much it weighs. So I got this one from Amazon. I don't remember the exact price. It had to be $30 or less. Of course, I got this pretty rose gold one. Um, they have all these different options though. I got mine from Amazon. And so how it works, you turn it on, you put your package on it, weigh it. That's how it calculates the price, so on and so forth. You need this. Even if you don't use USPS, you need this for any sort of shipment. UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL, anything. So the next thing that everybody needs, if you're a business owner, everybody needs it, is business cards and thank you cards. So I will show you part of it. I have a discount code on the back. I just don't want to put it on here. Let me show you. Let me show you one second. Show you. So this is what it looks like. It says, stay fabulous. Thank you. Hold on. Let me cover right there. And then I just write, hope this package binds your day. Yada, yada, yada. Use code blank. So this is what mine looks like. And then here is my business card. I designed this one myself. I had somebody design this one. I'm not going to say where I got it designed, but I will tell you where I did print them and get them out at. So, I get my business and thank you cards from vistaprint.com. Again, put it in the description. For vistaprint, it is extremely, extremely cheap and you get bulk quantities. Let me find out the exact price. Give me one second. Okay. 
So I'm going to look at my last order that I placed. I got... So keep in mind, you guys, they always have coupons. Always look for coupons. Do not ever pay full price at Vista Print because there's coupons everywhere. Um, like I use the 20% off coupon, okay? So I got 5,000 thank you cards for $139. I know if you're starting out, that sounds like a lot of money. Like, oh my god, $139. You do not have to get $5,000. They have quantities of like $50, $100, $500. Obviously, because I'm on the bigger side of a small business, I'm going to need more than $50 or $100. So $139 for $5,000. And then for business cards, it is a bit cheaper, I'm assuming, because, you know, it's smaller, less the print. I got 5,000 business cards for $99. So let me do the math real quick for business cards. I got 5,000 of them, right, for $99. So 99 divided by 5,000. I'm literally paying a little less than two cents for each one. I'm paying 0 0.019 for each business card. That's basically a penny. I'm paying a penny, which is great. You guys, you need this. I use both just because, like, if I'm at the post office, I like to hand out my business cards. If I'm somewhere and people ask, oh, where are all those packages from? Here's my business card. But if you don't, it's really up to you if you need both. I just like both to hand them out. But I do put my thank you cards in every package. Okay, so there's that. The next thing that everybody needs is a thermal printer, okay? I have the Rolo one. I just prefer the Rolo. I spent about $200 on it, but there are other options out here. It's just that I chose this one because I heard it was the best. This will save you so much money in the long run. So I know when people first start out, they just have a regular printer. They print out their shipping labels on regular paper, but that is going to cost you a lot of money in the long run. Why? Because you have to continue to refill this ink Every time you print out a shipping label, you have to cut the paper, tape the paper to the package. It is just too much time, too much money. For a thermal printer, it requires absolutely no ink. You never have to refill ink, I promise you. I've never bought an ink for this a day in my life. And instead of regular printer paper, let me take this out, it comes with these shipping labels already the perfect size and it's a sticker. Let me try to see if I can do this one hand, y'all, hold on. See, it's a sticker so you just slap it on the package and go. I got this from Amazon. You can get this, you can get the shipping label paper from Rolo.com or you can get it from Amazon. I prefer Amazon because, let me tell you why. Most people get a stack of 500 for like $20. And that is a really good deal if you're just starting out. Like when I first got this, I got this one month into my business, I only got 500 labels because I'm not sitting here getting 500 orders all the time. That just wasn't the case. But now that I'm getting more orders, sorry if you hear my voice like that, I was burping, okay? <laughs> Disregard. I get 4,000 at a time for like $60, okay? Think about it, you guys, do the math. I'm not going to do the math right now, but I get 4000 for about $60. I think that's like a penny. Hold on. We got to do the math, people. Give me a second. Okay. Let's do the math. If I'm paying $60 and I get 4000 of them. Yep, you guys. You're paying a penny per label. So for each little sticker, that's a penny. You're saving so much money. Like I said, if you're just starting out, I really would not recommend getting 4,000. I would get 500. But if you're like me, where you get like thousands of orders a month, get the stack of 4,000. I will put the link in the description. And the last thing that everybody needs, okay? This big box is just full of crinkle paper, you guys. This is 10 pounds worth of crinkle paper, okay? 10 pounds, and I only paid $27 per box. 27 for 10 pounds, okay? You're probably like, why do you need so much crinkle paper? I use crinkle paper when I put things in boxes. Sometimes I put it in mailers if it doesn't fill up all the way. But I know a lot of people go buy crinkle paper from the dollar store. That is a cheap alternative if it's once in a while. You run out of crinkle paper, go to the dollar store, go run and get your crinkle paper. But that one little $1 package of crinkle paper only fills one order. I have had that 10 pounds of crinkle paper since December. 
it is now mid-March and I haven't even gone through one box. I bought three boxes because I thought I would run through it. Nope, I'm not even halfway through it. So it is cheaper in the long run. I think that the dollar one, the dollar store crinkle paper, I don't know the exact size of it. It wasn't a pound. It was way less than a pound. And I did the math and Staples is much cheaper. That's what I recommend. But... If you guys want to see more videos like this, okay, where I recommend small business things, this was just very vague. I wanted to go over a lot of shipping stuff with you guys because I know a lot of my followers are either small business owners or they're considering being a small business owner. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you guys want a part two of maybe different things other than shipping and packaging, let me know. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.